Hello everyone, it's Doug from Learn2. Just wanted to follow up with you a little bit about remembering to practice. Now, the key to rewiring your brain is to actually practice so that you rewire your brain. The way to rewire your brain is to constantly remain conscious of how you're doing what you're doing. So, you're rewiring out of the sales speak that most sales professionals have learned over the years, the rut that we fall into where we start to use jargon and we sound like a financial institution, and moving over into the buyer's world where we're acknowledging the buyer behind the objection. So remember, use those you statements to connect into their world. The point isn't to do five you statements. The point is to connect into their world so deeply that they go, hey, this person and I get each other. And it tightens and strengthens that relationship so that you can ask the forwarding question, get some more information back from them, and then have your conversation about the statements of proof or the evidence or get into a deeper conversation. Remember that you often don't have to do the selling you used to do when you acknowledge. So avoid going down like, okay, I acknowledged you and now I go through and do all the sales again because again you're going to disconnect from that buyer and their process. So avoid selling, avoid convincing other people and constantly look for opportunities to acknowledge other people, be generous, don't be stingy, not just one, practice with your spouse, practice with your kids, practice with your neighbor, practice with people in the office. Each and every time you hear someone raise an objection or have resistance to an idea, just relax, know it's natural, acknowledge that buyer behind the resistance or behind the objection, and then ask that forwarding question. Practice, practice, practice. It'll help you rewire your brain, no matter how difficult it is.